So welcome to this uh, mini tutorial on how to use your training record book by the Shipboard Training Office. So reminders for the cadet, you are required to be on the vessel which has a gross registered tonnage of 500 tons or more. For engine cadet, you are also required to be on vessel which has a 750 kilowatt power or more. So this is your logbook. This is for the deck and this is for the engine. So upon receiving your training record book, do the following. Immediately fill up, fill in the data on the first page. Yeah, this is the data. It is in the lower right corner of your training record book. So it was your name, also the engine. Like book. So the very important here is the date training started. It is only one time. Only on the first vessel. The date below must be the date when you sign on on your first vessel. The same as the engine. Second. Read introductory message on page 3. Here, it is almost the same with the engine. Only here, it is uh, declared that this standard training certification of what's given for CPRS was revised and updated this ISF training record book, meaning it is a new, it has already the new competencies for ECDES and the leadership and team working and proactive measure to protect the environment. So three competency was added to the uh, what we call deck like book. Also, normally this completion of this book will not itself constitute an official assessment of competence. Because in this log book it is only the task that supposed you to be trained on board. And if the training officer on board is can Determine that they are only competent, they will decide. So the contents of this logbook is only the task and the signature, nothing else. That's why it is not, it cannot be uh, converted into assessment. So the engine also, also uh, revised. No, this training record book takes full account of the new requirements for engineer cadet including new competency standard for leadership teamwork skills and proactive measure to protect the environment. So, the same. Normally, it is not, it cannot be constituted as an official assessment of competence. So, now, uh, table of contents. This is the table of contents as the same as the other books. But here, we will just see what are the pages. No? This is the guide to completion. Later, we will have to, to discuss it one by one. But this is the pages, guide to completion, one for deck, one for engine. And this is the basic training uh, divided into four groups. The Kali's phase training program, C phases training program, meaning in Kali's, it's in the school. C phases in the world of vessel. This is the basic training. Art is your mandatory training, BT. And the last part is the training. If you have this training, then you write. If you don't have, then do not write anything in this uh, area. So next is the record. In the service record, you have one column. In it's of the vessel. We have data. We will discuss more on this page later. So the next page is signated, meaning every week you have to present your training record book for inspection or for signature through your designated training officer because he will review your training and progress and he will if he will determine that you are already competent then he will sign here okay so but it is not the signature here doesn't mean that you are competent only the signature here 
means that he has inspected your training record book for that week. I repeat, the signature here doesn't mean that you are competent. It only means that it is an evidence that you, your, I mean, your training record book was inspected by the designated training officer of work. Next is the monthly. Monthly is for the master or chief engineer uh, in the engine. Okay, it is the same. The only difference is now you have the stamp. The stamp. This is monthly and this is weekly. The difference is the stamp. You have the stamp, it's on every month for the master. Next is the company. When you return to the Philippines, then you have must present also your training your book to your growing manager or whoever designated by the company to inspect your training record book. And he will have an initial. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, if your company has a program that uh, there is a shipboard training officer going around the ship to inspect your uh, training record book, then he must sign here every time he will inspect your training report book with the initials and the dates. So, here is the list of publication. This is a blank form on, on your training record book that uh, you will write all the related uh, manuals, publications, instruction manual, safety manual that you read or assign to be read or any computer-based training video that you have completed on board. It's time you've completed the reading, the CBT, the video, what the date, write the title, and during the weekly, what we call uh, weekly review of the signature training officer, let him sign. In this form, record is publication of director's manual videos like this, like that. Then, that's the uh, contents of the guide. Okay, next is section 3, mandatory familiarization, particular membership, uh, regulations, uh, call regs, information, then we will have to discuss it on the second part. So, welcome back to our uh, tutorial on your training record book. This is already part 2. So, just sit and relax. So, in the previous chapter or the previous part we discuss about the guide to completion particulars of the cadet shipboard record of service designated training officer review masters engineers monthly review company inspection and the list of publication now we will go through its pages of this how it will be uh, what we call filled up so first we will go to this one so guide to completion particulars so these are the things that we discussed uh, partly discussed last uh, tutorial so it's still the same the guide to completion there are two training record book the deck and the engine so it is more of like this on the section one guide to completion for the attention, attention of the master, designated onboard training officer, and the cadets. And the engine part is section one guide to completion. This time it will be the master, chief engineer, designated onboard training officer, and the cadets. So you must read thoroughly the contents of each of the pages on the training record book it will help you understand why you need to have a training record book remember you're on a structured training program on board so the next part will be the particulars of the cadet which can be found in section 2 of your training record book 
So, this is the particulars section 2 no? completed by the trainee in black capitals this one like this one this, these are black capitals and you can see here a place for the picture or photo so you do not forget you must put the picture your latest picture on the on this place so let's fill up the uh, particulars it's sort of bio data source of bio data so fill up Juan de la Cruz your name your the Siemens book date of birth home address you could change home address right here and this below is the sponsoring company information so the name of the company the address of the company and the credit agreement data information of the credit agreement the contract and date started the contract date finish your training uh, it's not only one ship but date finish the 12 months or 36 months training so you will fill this up this one when you already completed your training it may be 12 months structured or a 36 months non-structured or unstructured so if you change company then you also change the address and the date of change and when you finish the training award so do not write here if you change company you must write here date of finish your training if you have only one company then it is only this one and this one so that's for the particulars or your particulars remember it is in black capital so so the next is the basic and other training the basic and other training so in the basic and other training, these are there are at uh, four, three, three section here, no, on the deck. So this training, when you will fill up these boxes, when with your training done, while you are on your academy or school or college, we call it training done on college or while you are still in school the next boxes are for trainings you have done on board or on your seagoing phases already and the third one is your mandatory training it is called the BT the basic training as required by section A does 6 plus 1 paragraph 2 of the CW code as a part of your pre C, pre C training, you should have completed the basic training or instructions as listed. Enter the details, training or instructions below. So all of you has already BT, has already certificate. Then you must write the data here. Date, done, the location and the document number. You have already your personal survival techniques fire prevention and fire fighting elementary first aid and your PSSR that is for the DIC the DIC department I will uh, repeat the here is only a training program as applicable if you have not done any training then do not write but in this place 
you must write your BT information. So, and then the last, uh, the next page will be the record of other training for the DEC department. No? Insert the date if you have certificate. If you don't have yet, leave it blank. Okay. So this column is only for the BSMT. No? So after your completion of your task in page 89, if you have completed in page 89, then write the date, the location, and if you are issued a document, you write the number. If you have this training, survival and rescue boats, you write. Okay. If you have this training, you write. If you don't have, leave it blank. Got it? Okay. So, this is only so for the engine cadet. It is the same. No? In the first two boxes, group of boxes, it is a training when you are, yes, in school. You are still in the academy, the training you have done, you, are, you have the certificate, or just the title of the training and the date. Then on, on board, Safe faces, you write if you have training, you write here. But this one is different from the deck. It is a workshop or occupational training. If you have this training, write the what we call data. So remember, this boxes is a training program as applicable. If it is not, leave it blank. The same as the previous, as the deck department training record book you have also your basic training write the information from your documents given by the training center so next is the masters engineers master designated or shipboard service so here we will start on the shipboard record of service Here in the shipboard record of service, it is uh, like this. It, it is with the certificate of service that the company will give you. The dates must be the same. Um, all the data on your certificate of seagoing service issued by the company. And before also, we forgot number of months and days shall always be the same as your bridge what's keeping journal in the section 2 of your training record book meaning here the date and the data here must be seen on your section 2 yeah it must be the same if you have put 6 months in your Section 2 of your training journal, it must also be 6 months. Okay, now let's fill up this shipboard record of service. Okay, so, if you, for example, you are, you are on your first ship, after you sign off, the company will give you the sea service, then you enter the data of your first ship. As you can see, this is the name of the vessel, IMO number, date, sign on, date, sign on. Remember, the date here will be the same on your first page, date, training, started. Then, date, sign off. The date, sign off, it doesn't mean that you already completed the training. It means that you finish the training on that certain vessel. If it is already 12 months, then it will be the completion. But if it is not, that means that it's only the date that you sign off on that certain vessel. Then, for example, during this time, the duration, you have 
been on the bridge was keeping duty for three months and five days that is for example the new right here then the six months and five days will be the duration between sign on and sign off I will repeat the duration between sign on and sign off sign off minus sign on equals voyage total seagoing service let's enter the data for example because here you are still lacking if you have the 12 months you are still lacking another five months so let's say that you go for another vessel and then you complete it in the other vessel then you enter the data for the next vessel Prince Bunker IMO date sign on sign off and during this time if you have been on the bridge what's keeping duty as per your record on your training journal then you must write here for example you have three months and six days and this one it will be the same as this one this is sign off minus sign on is four months and six days then if you as a structured training program you need more you need 12 months now so you go for another vessel just for example then you write here the same one month four months another four months and 22 days so this is how you fill up your shipboard record of service each ship has different if you have only one ship and you have 12 months and it, then it is only one column and up if you have multiple ship then you must write every data the data that is written on your sea service issued by the company should be the same sign on and sign off and the data on this part must be the same with your data on your section 2 of your training record book journal so after you have all data then here is the total service total service is total here total here total here total here okay so this one total okay so it means that okay so this one seven 13 days it is 15 because you have 5 days plus 6, 11 days plus 22 equals 33 days minus 30 equals 1 month so you add it is 15 and 3 days so the required is 6 months and 12 months if you are on st structured shipboard training so you are done ok you are done this is a sample for three vessels data first vessel second vessel third vessel you add 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 then the requirement is one and this one for unstruck uh, for a structure rather structured training if you are unstructured that means you need 36 months so 36 months must be complied here okay so this is also for the engine no? engine room what's keeping also here the data for your engine room what's keeping the time you spend on the engine room what's keeping duties the same as the data on your training record book journal now let's go to the designated training officers review as a requirements 
you must lead your training officer on board or designated training officer review your what we call training record book so you must report to your training officer once a week so that he or she can review your training record book that's a requirement now so this is how you will fill up this one this is designated training officers review of your training progress so the reason why you will report to your training officer is to let him review your training progress this table is to be completed once a week or at such interval as the training of the vessel allow comments should only relate to the cadets practical your practical progress and competence and should not refer to your character so now let's enter the data here and we will, we will explain later so so for example this data uh, this is the name of the ship you must write always the full name of the ship okay so this is the name of your officer this is his initial and this date sign meaning the date that he signed must be at least once a week or one week interval here in comments if your officer did it write any comment then do not write leave it blank to be safe leave it blank and blank remember once a week so the next page is the masters chief engineers monthly review for your officer training officer it is weekly but for the master or chief engineer, it is monthly. Okay, monthly review of your progress, of your training progress. So let's enter the data. Yet the same. It is monthly that means it is 12 months no? if you are on structured training on board so the only difference between the weekly and the monthly is this one is monthly the other one is weekly and plus this stamp this stamp the ship's official stamp must be present on this data designated training officer weekly monthly progress master chief engineer is monthly so next is the when you come back when you finish your training on one vessel when you go home you will ask for the sea service then you will report to your office and your company will inspect your what we call training record book whoever the in charge of training in your company will inspect or review your training and comment as per performance as per master's report it's the name and what? if there is only there is no shipboard training officer that roams around the ship checking your train record book so one year one one comment only but if it is program on your company then it may be more but it is only a customary that you go to your office before you leave after you arrive that's why it's only one then the list of publication there are a list of publication 
video, computer-based training programs studied and used. So in this one, you should have know where can be found. So these are the publication related to your program, related to BSMT, related to BSMRE, just like a SOLA safety manual that you read on board. Uh, let's see, for example, in this form, record its publication, operator's manual, videos, computer based training that you have read or studied, and let your training officer acknowledge the signing by signing on the last column. So, I'm sorry for the spelling. Now, uh, let's say, for example, okay, uh, in the date you read this Maritime Labor Convention Manual, MLC, Safety Ship Manual, SOPIP Manual, every time you have completed any video, computer-based training, reading uh, manuals, engine, or any manuals that is related to your course or your, to your program you must write the date list it here and let your officer sign the what we call officer's initial welcome to this mini tutorial on how to use your training record book part 3 we're on part 3 now and we'll be discussing the mandatory shipboard as safety familiarization for deck and engine section 4 particulars of the ship for deck and engine section 5 international regulation for preventing collision at sea for deck and for engines section 5 is safety at work then we go to section 6 which is for deck and engine is an information and competencies to be achieved section 7 is a task for the navigational watch Section 7 for engine is for engineering ones. And Section 8 is the steering certificate for deck. Section 8 for engine is the project works. And Section 9 for deck is the project works. Then Section 10 is the task summary for engine. And Section 10 is the task, task, task summary for the deck. Uh, we will discussing this. We will discuss this one by one. So let's go to the mandatory shipboard training and safety familiarization. So this is the form that you will going to fill up in your training record book. It's on page 16 or 18, rather. Uh, it says it's a safety familiarization as required by section A-6-1, paragraph 1 of the CW code. And all crew that will arrive on board shall be familiarized with one officer. You will be given a checklist. Uh, it is a requirement of ISM that you will be uh, familiarized with the safety and shipboard equipment on board. And uh, this is your copy also. Uh, this is for six ship. Six ship. As you can see, it is for ships one, ship two, ship three, ship four, five, and six. So after you have been taught on this task your officer will sign here and we go to you, you transfer or go to another ship you will also be familiarized then you will have to fill up this second ship so more familiarization after you already perform these competencies then your officer will sign do also read this area that is very important so the next one is the last task that you will have to be familiarized then after that you will report to the master but before you report to the master you write the data here ship's name the location of your boat master station for example port side upper deck and the location of your ma fire master station port side upper deck this, remember this is the location of your uh, area of your boat master station of your fire master station then write 
the name of your master and let the master request the master to sign your form anyway it will be signed also because the master will sign the checklist and don't forget the date so that's for family decision now let's go to the ship's particulars for deck and engine uh, it is the same section 4 of deck section 4 of engine log book is particulars of the ship so it has the same form so this is the particulars this is also in your training record book this is also six area six area that, that means it has first ship it has second ship it has third ship until six ship so uh, this ship particular is place and a convenient location on board the vessel on the bridge on the engine room on the hallway on the galley do select the clearer one the clearest one then copy here you go to another ship second ship you also fill up for second ship so it has more although the data on the engine and uh, the deck are not the same but it is all familiarization it has almost the same uh, because it is only one ship's particulars on board so that's for the ship's particular then we go to the deck this is only for deck the section 5 for deck is international regulation for prohibiting collision at sea so uh, these are the topics now so every now and then when you are on duty remember this area must be the same the date must be recorded on your section 2 of your training record book journal because this is a bridge what's keeping huh? bridge what's keeping so the date will be the same as in your journal meaning the what happened here what transpired there whatever activities you are on the bridge with this topic must be also recorded on your section 2 of your journal because here only the initial of the training officer and the date can be found but the activity is must be on your training record book journal section 2 it must coincide the date and it must be signed by the training officer on board so what will be the the uh, topics here it is a question and answer uh, you ask the your officer to to ask question or if you observe another vessel coming crossing like this you tell him and uh, later if he uh, determine that uh, you already uh, competent on the part and you practice already then you will sign here remember it is until an excess so you must uh, persevere to convince your uh, officer to ask questions about this one so that he will sign your uh, training record so on the engine it is safety at work so let's go to the engine it is safety at work as you can see uh, always read if there is an introduction introductory message it is very important so here is a kind of form that has the task and duty of you here so once you have completed this task let your officer sign or in a weekly basis basis you approach the officer and let him sign that he already completed this uh, area 
and when the officer determine that you are already demonstrated competence then he will sign here remember you will be this is the criteria in how you will be assessed by the officer operation maintenance and repairs are planned and carried out in accordance with the safety rules and procedure so this is remember this is you already perform this is how you the officer you determine that you are already competent more safety at work now, this is the uh, what we complete entry no task this is initial of the officer initial of the chief officer and the date sign and as you can see here the dates of signature that you are already demonstrated competence is always after after your performance uh, never that this date here is before the date here it must be after or the same date as you can see the latest date here is uh, 9 no 9 october is october it is october 10 and here it is 11 this one is 11 16 16 11 and this is 9 9 9 but here the date is 9 the date here is already 16 so after after the performance it is on page 29 in your training record book of the engine cadet now uh, let's go to section 6 of your dig and engine it is the same it is an information of your training tasks and competencies to be achieved let's go to now this is for BSMT you have 20 competencies to be done to be uh, what to be assessed task your task has 20 competencies and for engine you have only 16 competencies base mark a competencies so this is your time this is each of these has pages on your training record book so those are the yes yeah, section six information on the training tasks and competencies to be achieved for engine and tech now let's go to section seven this is the task for officer task for in section 8 task for uh, section 7 now is task for the officer in charge of navigational watch what are the tasks what is the task okay the training in this section of this record book covers requirements for certification of officer in charge of navigational watch the requirement for certification is as follows so do read this one again and again and again so that you will learn why you have to complete this training record book so upon completion of this training record book for decades should ensure that structured approach is undertaken so that trainees can make best of their time at sea the task summary chart can tick off as they completed board training tasks can be found on section 10 on page 95 of this one so this is for deck so for example this is one form of the deck no? it is the same the deck has no problem because all the forms is the same in all tasks in all competencies so but here when you perform daily performance you record here your uh, what we call officer will sign this one when you presented to him once a week he will review your training once a week no? and also here and when he determine that you already demonstrated competence then he will sign here also 
every one of these and the same here okay. now this is the what we call complete entry just the other, the other. this page sample how to fill up this page 37 at least for the engine also the engine also has its task yes the same form the same form uh, this is performance this is competence performance competence you will be the criteria in how your officer will label with you is this one and on this one on this uh, tasks uh, complete complete uh, what we call entry so but the engine has a form which is different from the previous form it has no task here no task here so how will you fill up this one you read this one you read this one it will in the box list list the machinery or equipment on which you have carried out repairs or assisted in repairs with others showing the special tools used this includes dismantling inspection repair and reassembly work as a minimum carry out repairs requiring use of hydraulic tools bearing pullers and torque wheels machinery may include steering gear engine room pumps fans deck winches and windlass galley and catering equipment and air condition so for example you repair or fabricated something you write here what what is that you repair steering gear you assess engine room uh, repairing steering gear in the engine room fans so but this is the equipment that you repair or fabricate then right here your tools use special tools no? then so on and so forth Good. it may not have enough equipment uh, enough activity that you can fold yeah, no problem no problem so as long as every time you have this one you write the equipment here or the thing that you fabricated you write here the special tools and during the review then let your officer sign and if your officer thinks that you're already competent then he will sign here the same as this one no? this one is different also in the box below list the parts that you have fabricated made assisting making an equipment but this time is it is for example center lot it is welding here okay. it, it is almost the same this is for special tools this is for welding so and the other form but it is the same no? it is the same form it is blank but it, there is always an instruction assist with maintenance repairs and fault finding on ec electrical system list the item work on so if you are assisting your officer or engine officer then you write what did your officer repair and the equipment no and after a week you visit your officer for review then let him sign your here if he thinks that you are competent enough or he completed his task given to you then he will sign it okay the next is the same form same form so now let's go to for the steering now we have on steering steering gear deck form uh, it is a task or duty that you will have in your area task and duty no task and duty so here execute health orders correctly demonstrate procedure and how moving the reel which are your tasks then again uh, do not forget to read first here read always read an introductory statement and after one week 
ask your officer to sign here. Then if he determine based on this one that you are competent, demonstrated competence, then he will sign here. And your certificate is done. Okay, but this is steering. Uh, you must also record the time and date during the steering. No? So the next page will be the form to fill up. So page 90. Huh? Now for example, you will be traveling to Manila and your watts is 8 to 12. Okay, let's say that you are only the Hemsman. Uh, this is to explain how to use this uh, training record book, this form. No? So for example, you are Cebu to Manila and you are your watch is 8 to 12 and you are only the one available for steering so first entry so you put Cebu to Manila and the date and the time duration so since you have no reliever then you have 8 to 12 okay then let your weekly review sign here your officer remark you know already you have more practice that's remark it but your officer don't make remark please leave it blank leave it blank then signature of your officer then again as you can see this is the category one steering by compass day okay then during the night then you cannot enter here you use this one steering by compass night so when you have your watch again you write uh, Cebu Manila the date and the time another duty night time okay so the second the next day you go for 8 watts 8 to 12 again so you enter here Cebu Manila the date and the time night during the night duty then you enter here on the night okay so you have a total of and the daytime you have eight hours the required is only 10 hours the night time you have eight hours the required is 10 hours but say who knows if you can make a steering for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, just record it. Just record it. Just record it. Remember, this steering must also be recorded as an activity in your journal. Section 2 of your training record book journal because it is already a what's keeping duties. You are on the bridge. Then another category, category 3 is by sight. Meaning, you will not use compass you only use markation for example top of the mountain or lighthouse or buoy you just point out the direction of the ship there that's why it is called by sight only by eyes so it might not happen long so but it's of the time you have the situation you record the same also activity should be present on your section 2 of your training record book journal for example category 3 first entry Cebu to Manila 9-4 from 9 to 10 a.m. Okay. Hero 900 to 1000 so at night you have also sight so you got enter oh, no, not yet not yet so okay so it is leaving the port so let's 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 go to the entry so and then we will uh, have an explanation so here it is a two category which is seldom happen no. so like if you have by sight only using your eyes no compass okay here also leaving the port and arriving the port entering or leaving the port you always write the time 
you always record your activity and both this with compass without compass and entering living airport must also be recorded on your section two of your training record book journal so that's for then uh, so the total is you have two hours you require this five you have two hours entering and leaving the required is five hours so after you have done all this you have five hours site you have five hours entering and leaving you have 10 hours using compass daytime you have 10 hours using compass nighttime then after that if your officer is what we call can decide or determine that you are already competent in steering then he will give you a certificate the certificate is still in your uh, what we call training record book so this is the data here here the data master receipt beginning after this yeah, okay but the requirement do not put more than 10 just put on the minimum uh, because it's very important that this duration is recorded on the data of the form on the previous form so here are the requirements steering by compass by day 10 hours steering compass by night 10 hours steering by sight 5 hours steering while entering and leaving the port 5 hours so remember also this is only for deck so now we go to the project work project works both deck and engine on the engine project works is on section 8 on the deck it is on section 9 remember you have also project work you write or draw your project work on your workbook in your workbook there is already a dedicated page for each of the project that the title is already written so let's let's just go to uh, the the project work what are the project work for engine so this is the project work for engine okay as you can see i noted here all c project has a dedicated pages and shall written shall be written or drawn on the TRB workbook. So, these are the project. So, introductory again, you read that one. It's very important. So, projects, pipe system, there are about 17 pipe system. Okay, so, next, more project here, scale drawings. These are the title of your project, this one. Title project. This is C project for engine so remember there is a dedicated uh, section for c project on your workbook with instruction of course now for the deck c project this one the same here so must read instruction or introduction then instruction or the instruction then uh, these are the project. Morning, cargo has uh, instructions already here. Yes, uh, engine of course is more drawing than the deck. So welcome back to our tutorial on the uh, section nine of our training record book. It is called the task summary chart for engine in section 9 and for deck is in section 10 on the TRB of the navigational watch so let's look at what is this task summary chart this is the task summary chart for the engine uh, training record book so the purpose of the summary chart is to provide you the cadet and your company and your ship's officer with a guide and a continuous check on the numbers of tasks or duties listed in section 7 that you have completed and those that remain outstanding 
tick off only those tasks which you have completed in the chart below the green boxes simply indicate the start of a new group of tasks or duties meaning after you completed each task which is represented by numbers in your section 7 for example you completed already 1 2 3 4 so you tick off that. Uh, to give you uh, an example let's go to the next uh, page so for example this is your section 9 task summary chart as you can see here it is on section 9 page 82 on your training record book for engine so another one is your task no? this is the task that you have on section 7 page 30 okay now as you can see here this is the function is marine engineering at the operational level this is the function also is marine engineering at the official level on section 7 page 30 okay so for example the competence is maintain and safe engineering watch also here maintain safe engineering watch so this is your task so upon completing the task the officer will sign here including the competency demonstrated so now if the officer already signed here that means that you have already completed 1.1 to 0.4 this one okay so now you have to tick off the box below so you must tick off this one meaning during the review of your training record book by the officer he can immediately uh, distinguish that this task has already been completed also you you can just go to directly to the summary chart and check which of the tasks or duties you have completed so just below so the green one also meaning it is beginning of the group of tasks that's just like here no? beginning on the group of tasks so that's the summary chart no? it is just a summary of the duties and tasks that you have completed it is a monitor chart As, so now let's go to the deck so on the section 10 this task summary chart for officer in charge from navigational watch or deck department so let's see what is this chart so it's just the same it's a uh, boxes with numbers so as the previous one the engine uh, training record book uh, its duties and competencies is represented by number on section 7 so this is for navigational operation level and competence plan and conduct passes at the time position so let's have an example for for the deck so this is this section 7 no? page 40 to 52 the form is like this one so as I told you on section 7 so this is your task once you perform it uh, within a week after the review of your training work by your training officer then he will be signed here and if he thinks he can determine that he already demonstrated the competence during the performance then he will sign also here the same as the other one so now uh, let's have an example for example this is the task summary chart uh, with the navigation operational level competence plan conduct passes and interposition and this is also the section 7 you know, plan and conduct position so function and now in this uh, what you call page it, it has already you can see that it it is already competent you already the officer signed already your train record work as competence demonstrated so the number is one two three four five six seven so you have that number you completed that number because signed already now this number is represented in the task summary chart 
is 1.12.7 so if you have this one already all you have to do is to tick one by one that means that you already completed the task so those are the the what we call the pages section 4 section 3 section 5 section 6 7 8 and 9 10 of the training record book of engine and tech department so if you have if you like to review you can just review back again back again and if you still don't get it you can also access our website at uh, www.sipboardtrading.com and there is some also some notes that can be downloaded for your convenience for your guidance so good luck on your using your training record 